Hey, welcome back to the channel. How are you doing today? My name is Adam Lewis. You're watching Adam Lewis TV. I want to welcome you to the first video, really, in the Beginner's Guide to Cryptocurrency. Just so you know, I have this available in other languages. All you have to do is hit the subtitle button down below somewhere there. You can get it in Spanish subtitles, French, German, all sorts of subtitles. So you can follow along, no matter where you are in the world, on this Beginner's Guide to cryptocurrency investment. Really, it's kind of like a cryptocurrency for dummies. So I want to welcome you. I want to thank you. Hope you're comfortable. You got a little beverage there with you. Um, right below this video is a link for, in the description box, for Coinbase. They'll give you like 10 bucks if you use that link towards your first investment. You'll need to fund the account. We're going to go through all that real quick. So without further ado, let's you and me jump inside my computer and let's get started. You're going to have a lot of fun. You're going to like this. We are going to, this is going to be how to set up a Coinbase account. This is Cryptocurrency 101. If, if Coinbase is not the platform, the exchange that I personally use, I do use them from time to time. Um, but I use more advanced crypto trading exchanges, but this is perfect for the beginner. So let's jump right in. Again, if you haven't done so, in the description box below the video is a link. It looks just like this. And that's the link you're going to use. You'll get $10. Coinbase will give you 10 bucks towards your first uh, transaction. So that's it. Put it in the browser and then click go. Once you do, you're going to end up here at the Coinbase sign up sheet. Okay, and basically just fill out your information, first and last name, email address. Um, you uh, will choose a password. It should automatically populate your state, certify that you're 18 years of age or older, and create your account. Now, once you do that, you're going to get to your home page. This should be what you see. Uh, real simple, very easy laid out. This is, it can't get any easier than this as far as cryptocurrency investing and cryptocurrency exchanges. Coinbase is the easiest and it's the most well known. Uh, so let's dive around here a little bit. I want you to know something. Once you're in the account, in your home page, they're going to probably prompt you to verify yourself. It's called Know Your Customer. Um, KYC, know your customer. Every exchange does it. They're going to want to see maybe a picture of your driver's license, your social. You're definitely going to have to enter that stuff in there just to verify that you are a real person. It's just like you're going to a bank. These are, these crypto exchanges, really like the new banks. And you'll see that moving forward into the future. Uh, banks are going to get poop slapped out of them. They're, 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 it's only a matter of time. You know, it's, it's funny because um, I'll give you an example. Blockbuster Video was on every single street corner until streaming services came around, right? Now there's no more Blockbuster. Streaming services took over. Um, years ago, there was Bell Telephone Company and uh, various local Ma Bells and such like that that were your telephone service provider. Um, now there's the internet. There's no more bell telephone. It's Those things are gone. Soon you're going to see this, I think, with cryptocurrency exchanges where there's not going to be any more banks. There's no need for them if we're doing digital currency, right? So anyway, let's get into it. Here's your home page. If you should have a balance, it'll be right here. Uh, you'll see some watch lists. If you have a particular... Uh, watch list that you like, a particular cryptocurrency that you like, and we're going to get into all that, so don't worry about it. This is just setting it up and kind of taking a look around Coinbase, what it, what it looks like inside. So here we are. Here's a buy and sell button. If you wanted to buy and sell crypto, you'd simply hit this. It'll load up, you know, various cryptocurrencies. You want to make a one-time purchase, a reoccurring purchase, a weekly purchase. Usually most people just do a one-time purchase and you can buy 
Bitcoin if you wanted to. I happen to have my Chase account attached to this particular exchange. Uh, you may have Bank of America, whatever. You'll set that up. I'll show you where to do that. Um, but basically, if you wanted to buy really any crypto that's listed on Coinbase, you can do it right now. You can search for a particular crypto up here, or you can simply scroll down. You got your big favorites here, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Tether. Okay. Uh, let's see what else we got. You got USD coin, Binance USD. That's a big, I like that one. You'll, you'll be seeing a video um, that I'll do on Binance coin, BNB. Make sure if there's any cryptocurrencies that you want to know more about, as far as my opinion, let me know in the comment section below uh, or get in touch with me somehow through the about section of my YouTube channel. Uh, you can email me, but I'll do a video for you. Just ask. I want to help you out. I want to make you, I want to, I want to do whatever I can to help you make a, an informed decision, you know, moving forward with crypto. A lot of people don't know, like, what's the best cryptos to buy? What's the best cryptos that can make me 10 a hundred or a thousand times what their value is right now in five years from now. I'm going to do the best I can to help you make that decision. But of course, remember, I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice at all. Always do your own due diligence while investing in crypto or any investment for that matter. So anyway, there's Cardano, there's Solana, Dogecoin. That's a big one. A lot of people say, hey, do I want meme stocks? Dogecoin is a meme stock. That means a meme stock is something that there's a huge community following behind it. There's a lot of promotional stuff on social media. It's a pump coin. Dogecoin's one of those. Is there intrinsic value? Is Dogecoin going to be worth something someday? It's up in the air. Shiba Inu, another one. Polygon, Shiba Inu. Shiba Inu is a meme coin. I kind of like Shiba. I'll tell you why in a future video. Avalanche, Uniswamp. These are all cryptos that you can buy just simply select an asset, say we want to do Litecoin, I don't know, it'll fire it up, one-time purchase off my Chase account, it'll tell me how much uh, money that I want to spend, and then you simply buy it. Now, you can buy up to $300 on my Chase Visa, you see how that is here? Your max on, on most Visa or, or credit card expenditures on Coinbase will be 300 bucks, unless you get verified and authorized as a larger for larger purchases and you'll see that they'll chime in from time to time on that but uh, you can also do uh, your chase checking account you can put it, it automatically by default will give you three thousand dollars in buying power with your chase checking or your Bank of America checking but your credit card or your debit card is a three hundred dollar limit a wire transfer you can do up to $25,000. And of course, you can always add a payment method. So if you need to, if you can't find where to, where to add my payment methods, you simply go to add payment method. And your bank account, again, you set it up right here. It's recommended. Your debit card for smaller amounts, you do that right here. I recommend doing both. PayPal, larger amounts also and direct deposits if you want to put your check in there. And of course, down here is wire transfers. So that's how you add a payment method. It's real simple. If you're lost and you want to find out how do I add a payment method, you simply go to buy and sell. Uh, you pay with and add a payment method. So that's how you add your first payment method, usually your bank, your debit card, or both. I recommend both. Again, not financial advice. But that's how you do it. Now, if you wanted to send and receive, that's a little bit more advanced. You can uh, send and receive crypto through your uh, Coinbase pretty much in-house wallet. So if you wanted to receive something, say somebody was wanting to send you some cash, you know, or, or some Bitcoin or something like that, you could do it there. You could also send it to somebody to a mobile email or address. The address is actually a long string of numbers that would be a Bitcoin wallet. So if you wanted to say send Bitcoin to somebody's Bitcoin address, right, you can do that.
Real simple. So let's see, we got assets over here. This is what you currently have in your Coinbase account. Again, I don't have anything, I don't use this account, but these are your assets. And if you buy Bitcoin, if you buy Shiba Inu, or any of the assets that are available through the buy, buy button here, through Coinbase, it would show up right here, and it would list exactly what it is and how much you have. If you wanted to trade, real simple way to trade that's just another way to buy and sell you can do Bitcoin Ethereum Ethereum 2 tether anything you want that's in this list you could search assets Sheeb it'll pop up and there it is you wanted to buy some Sheeb you click on that and again back to the buy and sell real just a different way to get there now Coinbase also has an earn function where it'll show you, you know, what you've earned. You can learn about interest, see how we calculate interest. Um, there's, there's different methods. I know Coinbase has a thing where they have learning rewards right here. And if you wanted to, if you wanted to learn about what is the graph, graph is a cryptocurrency, their ticker symbol is GRT. And you can go into this learning arena right here, watch a video or a video series and they'll give you a dollar's worth of graft. So let's see what's graft worth right now. GRT price and GRT is sitting right about nine cents per GRT. So you get about whatever, you know, whatever it is. So another GRT, GRT. So there's a bunch of different learnings that you can earn right here on Coinbase that will, you know, if you want to make a few extra free dollars, there it is, and just sit there and hold on to it. But I don't waste my time with it. Anyway, here's a card, Coinbase card. Once you start investing in Coinbase, if you should, you know, really get involved in Coinbase, which a lot of people do, they get in and stay in. They don't want to get involved in too many of the intricacies of other exchanges, which could be a little daunting at first, but I'm going to be to doing tutorials on those, so not to worry, I got your back. Um, but you have a Coinbase card, just a little promo stuff. Uh, let's see what pay is all about. Again, you want to pay somebody, real easy way to do it is right here on these. You know, what I've already just showed you is pretty much right here. NFTs, if you're getting involved in NFTs, there's a little link there for you. Some support, if you've got any issues, you can always contact support right there. Over here... Let's go back to our home page. The most important thing when you sign up using my link is you're going to get 10 bucks. I think it's in Bitcoin. You want to attach a bank and a credit and your debit card. This way you'll be able to start buying and selling cryptocurrency right away. Pretty much. It may take up to two days, sometimes 12 hours, maybe even quicker than that to get you verified. But once you sign up for a new account, it's going to prompt you to do just that. It's very easy. If you get stuck, just let me know in the comment section below. If you like this type of content, please, if you like this type of content, please like this video. This way you and I can help get it in front of more people that want to learn about cryptocurrency. Definitely subscribe with notifications. That's that little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you'll be notified every single time I do another video on the channel or most particularly with cryptocurrency. Uh, so over here we've got your little face icon. This is you and you can manage your profile right here, your settings, a lot of stuff again that's on the left will be right here. You can go into dark mode, make it a little dark or that was dark mode. This is the light mode. And this is the dark mode. Ooh, I like this much better. Yeah, definitely. Uh, your taxes, they're going to want to know, like I said, your social, your address. Because if you start banking, hopefully that's what we're going to do, right? If we start banking with crypto, you and me, together, got you. 
uh, and again, I'm going to show you all sorts of cryptos to get involved in. I want to I want to make it so that I want to show you what I do. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. Don't take my word for any of this. But when I do different like Shiba Inu or Luna or any different types of crypto that I'm going to bring you moving forward. So make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications. If you start making money, say Shiba goes to the roof or Luna or whatever you invest in here goes to the roof, you're going to be paying taxes on that. So they got to know what your information is. Your reports are going to show you all your reports, what you've done, uh, your history. Again, help is over here and of course sign out. So it's really a very simple platform to work. Right here is going to be all your notifications. So if you've got alerts, or anything like that, like Shiba Inu, I've got an alert for Shiba. I've got uh, other alerts here in, in uh, Coinbase. They chime in every once in a while on my cell phone and my email, uh, and on the app also. This we're doing on my uh, my laptop. I strongly recommend you set up your Coinbase account on a laptop or a desktop PC. You can do it on your on your cell phone, but it's a lot easier this way. It's a little wider screen. But once you do set up alerts, once you get the Coinbase app on your phone, they're going to be sending you alerts if you should set them up. Let's see what we got over here. Okay, another little bit more stuff. Here's Coinbase wallet. Uh, we won't get into that. If you'd like to know more about the Coinbase wallet, let me know. I'll do a video on that. Um, I use hardware wallets, which are physical hardware wallets. So that, when, like, say, for instance, I buy Bitcoin or Ethereum or Shiba Inu on Coinbase, if it's a large enough amount, I personally don't want my money sitting on the exchange. Any exchange, whether it be Coinbase, Binance, Qcoin. So what I'll do is I'll use a hardware wallet. There's also software wallets that are very good. One I recommend is the Trust Wallet. I'll do a video on that for you as well. Again, just let me know what you need to know and what you want to learn about. I'll do a video. Uh, but wallets are where you're going to store your crypto. You don't want to leave them sitting on the exchange. So having said that, and again, you can go through all this stuff here. Basically, what we already saw the NFT, the tax center, all that stuff. Direct deposit. You can set up to send your checks right over. I wouldn't do that. Um, and then, of course, they got some more stuff down here. Everything just kind of dive around. Take a look around at all the stuff they have. The basics are what I'm showing you here. You got home, you got your buy and sell, send and receive. So, say for instance, you had you bought Bitcoin, you bought ten thousand dollars worth of Bitcoin, all right, or Ethereum. You'd come over here to send and receive. You'd say, okay, Bitcoin's chose, right? You got to pick that. You want to send it. You're not receiving any because you don't have. You know, you don't have anything coming in, but you've got your Bitcoin. You want to send it to your wallet. So here, once you have a software or a hardware wallet set up for yourself, and again, we're going to do a video for you. I'm doing that, no problem, because it's important to store your cryptocurrency. It's like money. You want to store it. I like to physically store it so nobody can get at it. Still, it's, it's on the blockchain, but it's physically stored here meaning nobody can touch it. If it's on an exchange and they get hacked, guess what? So basically you would send your Bitcoin, say you had $10,000 in Bitcoin, all right? You'd send it, you put the address in here, and then it would give you a button here that says continue. And then you'd follow the prompts. This address that you'll put on here, this one here, address, will be your software or hardware wallet Bitcoin address. Do you understand? You're going to have an address for Coinbase and you're going to have an address for your wallet. So if you want to send that 10 grand in Bitcoin to your hardware or software wallet, it's going to have an address, that wallet, and you'll put that right here. You can put an optional message from my Coinbase wallet, whatever, and then it'll continue you'll prompt out and you'll be sending it away. So that's really it. I mean, this is really simple stuff. This is the easiest platform to use. Most people do have this. Um, 
but there's others. There's Binance, which I want to get you involved in because uh, I want to teach you about it rather. Again, I'm not a financial advisor, but I want to show you your options because this is the very basic crypto beginner's guide. You know, this is something for the newbies or even somebody that's a little advanced. Here you go, Coinbase. Coinbase is very simple to use. So rather than blabbing on any much longer here, I just wanted to show you the basics of the platform. Over here, you'll see top movers, a little bit more important stuff. These are top movers on Coinbase. Are they top movers you should get involved in? Eh, I don't know. That's that left to be seen. You got Golem, Rally. Really never heard much about Rally. Decentralized Social. Eh, these are ones that are pumping right now, as you can see. 19% over here. Crypto fine, Cryptex Finance, Terra Luna. Luna's big. Luna's gone up. So that, that's when I want to do a video for you in the future. Um, again, let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel with notifications like this so you and I can get this out in front of more people. I'd greatly appreciate that. I love you for that. And um, Terra Luna's big. Uh, let's see what else they got that they're recommended. Really nothing much that's really stroking me, you know, but... Terra is definitely one I'm going to do a video for you on. So, and again, remember, what I'm going to show you moving forward are going to be things that I put together. It's called a crypto index fund, a blend of cryptocurrencies that aren't like Bitcoin at $19,000 a coin. Who's got that? What? No. I want to show you what we call micro cap cryptocurrencies. They're altcoins. An altcoin is anything that's not Bitcoin, okay? Anything that's not Bitcoin, Shiba Inu, Luna, GNT, whatever. Those are called alternative coins or altcoins. So I want to show you, moving forward, in future videos, altcoins that are micro caps, meaning they're, the value of them, especially right now in this bullish market, and it's not leaving anytime soon, we're going to be in a bullish market for a while. So crypto right now is at a massive buying opportunity, in my opinion. Again, don't take my word for it, but it's my opinion. Wink, wink. So Shiba Inu, it's at 0. 0.00001 something. It's at very way under a penny. You can buy 5 million Shiba Inu coins for like 100 bucks, maybe two, three, four hundred dollars right here on Coinbase, then stick it in your wallet and sit on it because Shiba Inu, I believe, is going to moon. It's going to go a lot higher, closer to a penny. Now, each move, each zero that that drops towards that decimal point is massive gains for you and whoever else invests in it. So, But also, you can lose massive amounts of money as well. But a lot of these cryptos are at such a low point right now, price-wise. They've had, we know where they've been, okay? But they're very low because of the market and the world economy right now. It's just the way it is. But most of these cryptos solve a, solve a problem. They fit well into industry and definitely into the financial arena. So these, these bad boys are going to rock and roll. In, you know, in the metaverse, gaming... There's so much stuff out there, uh, these cryptos that I'm going to show you bring to the table, and they've got really, in my opinion, nowhere to go but up. So the index fund, we're going to put together 10, 20, 30 cryptocurrencies, and some are going to do phenomenal, and some aren't going to do so well, but the, 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 the majority of them, going forward into the next five years or so, should make us a lot of money. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Again, my name is Adam Lewis. If it's your first time here, it's a pleasure meeting you. Hope to see you again soon on future videos. Subscribe, like, share, and you have yourself a great day. Take care.